Just one more push, Rachel. Come on. Ah! It's a boy. Uh, now let's go. Wait, hold on. What about me? What about the baby? Rachel! Ron! I need to get you out of here, my love. But Ron, I'm scared. Don't worry. I've been through situations like this countless times. We'll get through this together. Ron, stay with me and our son. Please, it's not safe in there. I can't. There are still people inside. It's my duty to help them. No, please. Trust me, I'll be okay. I'll be right back. I love you. I love you too. Please be careful. Run, run. No! We need to move, men. Put this fire out right now. Oh no, that building's on fire. Uncle Dale, Uncle Dale. James, stop. It's too dangerous. Stand back. No, come on. Let me help. You're not a firefighter! Stand back now! I can't just stand by! People are in there and they need help! James! No! <coughs> Is anyone here? Oh, please! Help! It's okay! Just just follow my voice! <coughs> Who are you? Don't worry! I'm here to get you out! Stay close to me and we'll make it out! Together! <coughs> you... you saved me! Thank you. What is wrong with you, James? Are you an idiot? You could have been killed. <laughs> I just... Uh, 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 where am I? James. Uh, thank goodness you're okay. Did I... Uh, did I do a good job? Did everyone make it out okay? James Ronald Smith, have you lost your mind? Running into a fire like that? You must be insane. Mom, I, I had to do something. You know I want to be a firefighter just like Dad. I can't bear to lose another loved one to that dangerous profession. No more firefighters in this family, and that is final. Let's go. Bye, Uncle Dale. Take care, James. Oh, man. I hope that no one at school knows about what happened. Oh, great. Hey, look who it is. It's our hero. Heard you ran into a burning building, loser. <laughs> yeah, right, Bruce? <laughs> what an idiot. You know what, guys? Maybe one day you'll appreciate someone like me. I'm willing to help people out there even when they're in danger. Yeah, fat chance, you stupid loser. Oh, hey, leave him alone. Huh? Oh, what the heck? My face! You should show some respect. James saved my life. And you're over here making fun of him? You guys are pathetic. Y'all, oh, whatever. You're all a bunch of losers. Come on, Steve. Let's go. Hey, I'm Tyler. I wanted to say thanks for saving me, man. You're a real hero. Yeah, of course. Um, my name's James. It's just something I had to do. You know, we should hang out sometime. I see you around school and you really look like you have a lot of friends. You know, heroes need friends too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Over here, we've got our state-of-the-art fire trucks. These beauties are ready to roll at a moment's notice. Wow, they're incredible. I can't wait to learn how to drive one someday. You know, James, father would be so proud to see you here. He always wanted you to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, I wish he was here to guide me, but hey, thankfully I have you, right? So you still want to be a firefighter, huh? Of course. Mom doesn't understand. She says she won't let me, but I'm not going to let her stop me. Oh, really? Oh, no. Mom, uh, please. No, I knew I would find you here with your uncle. How dare you bring him into this place, Dale? Well, this is what I want. I want to be like dad and make a difference. No, your education is more important. But this is my dream, don't you understand? Why can't you comprehend that? If you don't come with me right now, you're grounded until you graduate. No more discussion. I'm sorry, Uncle Dale. I didn't mean to drag you into this. I have to go. James, never give up on your dream. Remember, I'm always here to support you, no matter what. Man, that was so much fun. I can't believe I beat you at that racing game. Yeah, you got lucky this time, but I'll get my revenge. Don't you worry. Wait, Tyler, look. Bruce is up to something again. Uh, did he just set fire to that trash can? Yeah, uh, don't worry. I've got this. Stay back. What the heck, James? You ruined my hilarious prank. What, setting this on fire? Dude, that's, that's not a prank. It's dangerous and could have hurt people. Don't do that again, man. You don't tell me what to do ever in my life. Oh, you suck. Whatever.
Next up, James Smith. Here's your diploma, kid. Get out of here. Yes! I'm finally done with high school! It's been a long journey, but it feels so good to graduate. Congratulations, James. I'm so incredibly proud of you. Thanks, Mom. It feels great. Now I can get started on the next chapter of my life. Oh, and speaking of your next chapter, I have a surprise for you. Really? What is it? Well, I want you to go to college without worrying. That way you can just focus on becoming an engineer. So I saved enough money to pay for your school. Wow, Mom, I appreciate that a lot, but I don't want to be an engineer. <laughs> what? Look, it's okay. I can use that money to attend the Firefighter Academy and actually pursue what I want to do. Oh, I can't believe you're being so stubborn. You're going to college. Now get in the car. Woo, let's go. Dude, we're finally done with high school. Thank goodness. And I am so pumped to start the Firefighter Academy. You're going? Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. You know, after you saved my life, you really inspired me. I want to be a firefighter, too. That's, uh, that's awesome, Tyler. I'm glad I can inspire you. Man, my mom is so frustrating. I can't even pursue my own dreams. Don't worry, man. I know you. You will find a way to make it happen one way or another. Plus, you've got the skills and the passion. Just keep fighting for what you want. Hey, uh, do you see that smoke over there? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm gonna go check it out. What the heck are you guys doing? Are you trying to start a forest fire? Put it out now. Whoa, look who decided to join the party. Hey, yeah, you're a loser and you suck, dude. Uh, uh-oh. Um, this doesn't, like, look really good. Ah! Oh, I need to get out of here. Oh, no. This fire's heading right to the party. I have to help. Oh, come on, come on. Go out. Come on, guys. Follow me now. Oh, uh, thank you. James, what you did was incredibly stupid. Running into a burning house? Are you kidding me? I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just didn't know what else to do. Well, because of your stupid actions, you did save everyone inside. It was dangerous. But very, very brave of you. Look, I knew it was risky, but I couldn't just stand by and watch. It's like an instinct to me, you know? I can't fight who I am. And that's why I want to sponsor you at the Fire Academy. I'll help you get the training you need, and you will be a firefighter. Wait, seriously? Yes! Uncle Dale, that's amazing! Oh, this town sucks! I hate you! I hate all of you! Okay, that's farms, but you still going to Yale, y'all. Okay, come on! Oh, I hate you! Mom, you wouldn't believe what happened. What is it? Are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. I just rescued so many people from a fire at the lake house. You did what? How, how is this good news? You know better than anyone how dangerous it is to fight fires. Well, guess what? Uncle Dale was so impressed with what I did that he wants to sponsor me for the Firefighter Academy. What? No, absolutely not. I will not allow it. Well, I'm going. This is what I was meant to do. Well, you're an adult now, and if your uncle is going to take care of you, then let him. If you go to that academy, you're not allowed to live here anymore. You will be on your own. You know what? Fine. If that's what you really want, then I'll pack my things, and I'll make it on my own. Move faster, cadets! We don't have all day here! Uh, I... I can't do this, James. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, don't give up now. You're stronger than you think. Come on. Just uh, give me your hand. Uh, uh, okay. Huh. Ah! Oh! Oh! James, that was more pathetic than a turkey without legs. Uh, I think I hurt my arm. Grow up. You know, I trained your father and your uncle. They would be embarrassed to see you fail like this. You need to step up your game, my boy. Thanks for helping me, dude. But after today, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to drop out. What? You can't drop out. We're in this together. Look, I'll work with you, train with you, and just make sure you get through this, okay? Don't worry, man. We'll graduate together. It's nice to see everyone's families here for family day, but where's mom? 
I haven't seen her yet, and I know I sent her an invite. Hi, you've reached Rachel. Please leave a message after the beep. Hey, Mom, it's me. I was hoping you'd come to family day at the academy, but I guess... Uh, never mind. I'll talk to you later. Wow, I guess no one's coming. Hey, James! Uh, Uncle Dale! Wow, I'm so glad you're here. Of course I'm here. I wouldn't miss this day for anything. How's your training going? I'm doing okay, but I'm really worried about Tyler. He's struggling, and I don't know if he'll make it through. Well, let me tell you a story. There was a time when I thought I wouldn't graduate from this academy either. I was struggling just like your buddy Tyler. I didn't think I was strong enough. And that's when your dad came to me. What the heck? You're dropping out? Can't do this, Ron. I suck at this. Dale, that is not true. We're going to get through this together. Really? You believe in me that much? You are my brother. We come from a long line of firefighters. We have it in our blood, and this is our dream. I'm not going to let you give up on it. We'll work hard. We'll work day and night to ensure we both graduate from this academy. I promise you. Wow. You're right, Uncle Dale. I know what I have to do. I'm not going to let Tyler give up. We'll work together, and I'll make sure he graduates. I know you will. You're strong, James. And you'll do anything to help people, just like your father. All right, Tyler, come on, get up! We're going somewhere. What? Going somewhere? Dude, what are you talking about? No more questions, cadet! We're gonna train together, push each other, and ensure that you succeed. Yeah, I don't know, James. This is really challenging, and I don't know if I have what it takes. All right, that's enough of that talk. You have it in you, Tyler. Just trust me. Let's go, Tyler. Come on, speed it up. Uh, are you fine? Dude, you're really making some progress here. All right, you little cadets. It's time to prove yourselves again. Climb that ladder, boys! Oh my gosh, I did it! No, Tyler, we did it! Well done, the both of you! Looks like that turkey grew himself some legs! <laughs> You've shown immense improvement, and you're going to pass this school and become two of the best firefighters on the force. Well, Bruce, it's your lucky day. You're finally getting out of jail. I just can't wait to get out of here and get my revenge. This town deserves to burn to the ground for what they did to me. Revenge, huh? <laughs> I love revenge. What are you even talking about? I happen to know some failed businesses in this town. They might be mine, but whatever. With a well-placed fire and a call to my insurance company, we could be rich with insurance money. Give me the addresses, Finkleberry. I'll take care of them one by one. This town won't know what hit it. Okay, my first official fire as a firefighter. I'm prepared. It's what I've trained for. I mean, come on. Oh, man, this doesn't look so good. Help! Somebody please help me! Someone's still inside! Uh, I've gotta move! Oh, somebody please help! Uh, don't worry, miss! I'm here to get you out! I'm so scared! Look, you're gonna be okay. Just tr trust me, okay? Okay, I'll trust you. Thank you so much for saving me. I don't know what I would have done without you. Look, it's just my job, okay? I'm just glad I was able to help. I'm Ashley, by the way, and you are my hero. I'm not a hero. I'm, uh, just James. Well, just James. Here, let me give you my number. Maybe I can take you out to dinner? You know, for saving my life. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Now, go talk to those EMTs. I just want to make sure you're okay. <gasps> oh, no! My business! Not my closed-down business that I hate! No! Ugh, luckily, I was insured for a lot of money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I could have your attention, please. Today, we gather here to honor my nephew, James, for his exceptional bravery and selflessness in the face of danger. Way to go, James! Yeah! Wow, uh, thanks, Uncle Dale. I, uh... I don't know what to say. James, you've made us all proud. As your firefighter, as your uncle, and your firefighter chief, it's an honor to give you this medal of honor. Wait, mom? Uh, mom! Wow, I'm, uh, I'm happy you could make it. I didn't realize this was some kind of firefighter party. Your uncle just invited me over for dinner. Maybe I should go. Oh, 
So you didn't come to see me? No, I didn't. I just don't understand why you insisted on pursuing this dangerous career. It's so reckless. Well, this is what I want to do. I want to make dad proud. It's in my blood, mom. I was born a firefighter. I don't want to hear this. I've lost too many loved ones to this profession, and I don't support it. We've gone on four dates so far, and I've been thinking about asking Ashley to be my girlfriend. What do you think? I think you should totally go for it. She seems to be really into you. All right. Once we finish here, then I'm going to go and ask her. No more hesitation. I mean, we fight fires every day. This is just asking her to be your girlfriend. You've got this. Yeah. And wait, isn't that Bruce? Yeah, it is. How did he get out of jail? Uh, hey, Bruce. Well, if it isn't the loser and the idiot. Yeah, he definitely hasn't changed. Hey, how did you manage to get out of jail? I served my time and I'm rehabilitated now. I'm a changed man, you could say. A better Bruce. Yeah, messing with fire was pretty stupid, huh? No, you two were the stupid ones. Always messing with my plans and then you got me arrested. Well, I'm not gonna let you ruin my plans again. Again? What are you up to, Bruce? Being busy. I don't have time to talk to the two morons like you. Just stay out of my way. <laughs> Yo, this place sucks. Hey, watch it. Steal my business. Yo, well, whatever. Now it's your turn, Finkleberry. Okay, three, two, one. Fire, fire, someone help. <laughs> All right, we got to put this fire out. Yes, Chief. Great job, Ron. Keep pushing forward. Wait, did you just call me Ron? No. Yeah, you did. Sorry, James. Good job. Just keep pushing forward. We gotta put this fire out. Great teamwork today, James. We did it. Yeah, we did. Thanks, Uncle. I want to take you out to celebrate tonight. You deserve it. Yeah, we both do. Seriously, James? Oh, you're ruining my plan. Stupid firefighters. I'm gonna have to do something about him. Man, that food was incredible. You deserve it. You did an outstanding job today. Thanks, Uncle. I couldn't have done it without your support, you know. You've been there for me through everything. Ah, uh, don't mention it, kid. I'm proud of you. There's, uh, something else I wanted to talk to you about. I think I want to propose to Ashley. That's amazing, James. You've been dating for a couple years now, and I can tell that you really are in love with her. Huh, <laughs> she's a lucky girl. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about my dad and how he must have felt when he proposed to my mom. You're nervous, huh? So nervous. Yeah, your dad was nervous too, but he knew in his heart what he wanted and that it was the right thing to do. Hey, uh, Ashley, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Really? What is it? I, uh, I love you. Oh, I love you too. And... I can't... Wait. Uh, uh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Ashley. Look, I, I need to take this. Hey, uh, this is James. W what? The fire station's on fire? Oh my gosh. Look, I I'll be right there. I I'm sorry, Ashley, but I gotta... Just go. They need you. Be safe. Look, I I'll be back soon. I promise. Uh, Tyler! Tyler, what's going on? How did this even start? No idea. We're doing our best to try to keep it under control. There's something else. I, I have bad news. What is it, Tyler? Uh, tell me. A couple of our boys made it out, but James, I'm so sorry. Your Uncle Dale, he he didn't make it. What? No, no, no! James, you can't go in there. It's too late. <laughs> no! It was a really beautiful service, James. I'm gonna miss him. You know, he used to play pranks on me at the station all the time. Yeah, he had the best sense of humor. I'm gonna miss him too. And I need to tell you something. After Dale's passing, we had a meeting with the other firefighters. We've all unanimously voted you as the new fire chief. The official announcement goes out tomorrow morning. Look, I appreciate their trust, Tyler, but it's hard to feel happy about it given the circumstances. Of course, man. Anything you need, just say the word. We're all here for you. Hold on. It's my mom? Mom, how are you holding up? I'm fine. 
Look, I, I don't know what to say. I just, I, I feel so lost right now. Losing dad and, and now Uncle Dale? It's been tough and I know we're not getting along, but I, I need my family. James, when are you going to wake up? Firefighters have already taken your father and now your uncle. It's a dangerous path and I want you to walk away from it. Look, I can't just walk away. It's who I am and what I'm meant to do. Look, I can't disappoint the team. Not after everything now. Look, if I'm not there to do this, then other people are going to get hurt. I can't let them go through that. Well, if you won't walk away from it, then I will. Seems like walking away is what she's best at anyways. Ugh, why did that idiot text me to meet him here? Bruce, what is the meaning of this? Uh, Finkleberry. Ha ha ha. I have a little surprise for this town. They made my life miserable, so I'm gonna burn it all to the ground and watch it crumble to ashes. Why? What's in this for me, okay? It's all about me. Oh, oh right. You just want money, don't you? Well, I've got it right here. Well, 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 Bruce. Seems like we have a deal. <laughs> you burn this place down and I get my sweet, sweet money. Just make it quick, okay? I got a lean cuisine in the mic. Ha oh, don't worry. This town's gonna learn never to mess with Bruce. These fires are happening more frequently, Tyler. Too frequently. It doesn't make any sense. How is it possible? Well, I've been talking to some of the guys on the team, and they actually found gas cans near the fire start location. You mean we might have a serial arsonist on our hands? Exactly. Someone's intentionally setting these fires, either to get attention or something else. Whatever it is, it's a dangerous situation, Chief. Wait, Chief? Yeah, technically you are chief now, dude. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just weird. You know, that was my uncle and something I have to get used to, I guess. So, what do you think we should do next? We've got work to do. We need to get to the bottom of this before there's nothing left of this town. Ah, this is the third one this week. We've got to get this fire out. Hold on. Uh, Bruce? Stop right there! Whoa, if it isn't the hero! You think you can stop me, loser? Wait, you're the one behind this? No, I'm not gonna let you get away! Catch me if you can! Ha <laughs> ha! Bruce, stop! Nope, not stopping! Ah! Ah! No! I can't! I can't move! Ha 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 ha! Oh, how the mighty have fallen! Ah, oh, come on, James. You could do this. <laughs> You can... Uh, uh. Uh, Ashley? Oh my gosh, he's awake. Mom? James? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. We were so worried. Yeah, me too. Can't believe you're even here. I know, and I'm sorry. Ashley called me, and this whole ordeal made me realize that no matter what you do, I still love you. Really? You have no idea how much I needed to hear that. As dangerous as this is, your job is very important. You're saving lives. Just be more careful with yours, okay? We love you. I love you both, and I want you to know that I figured out who the arsonist is. Who is it, James? It's Bruce, my old bully from school. He's the one behind all of this. And once I get out of here, I'm gonna stop him for good. Chief, glad to have you back on your feet. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. And Arthur Rufus is here too, y'all. Yes. Now, gentlemen, we need to put an end to this arsonist. The town is on edge and the people are scared. They demand safety and security. I understand, Mayor. We're doing everything we can to catch Bruce, but he's proven to be quite elusive. If we don't find and stop Bruce soon, we might have no choice but to shut down the entire town and evacuate everyone. He can't hide for long. He's going to mess up eventually, and I'll be there to catch him. I promise. Chief, let me be clear. If you don't apprehend Bruce and bring an end to these horrible attacks, you will be relieved of your duties. That means you're gonna lose your jobs, y'all. That's sad. Yeah, I understand, Officer Rufus. Look, I won't let you guys down. Dad, Uncle Dale, I can really use your help right now. Look, I know I'm a skilled firefighter, but sometimes the weight of this responsibility just feels so overwhelming. I just wish you guys were here to guide me and to support me. We knew we would find you here. Your father and uncle may not be physically present, but they're always with you, watching over you. 
We know that you can catch Bruce and bring an end to this nightmare. Thanks, but why are you both here? Well, there's something else I want to share with you. What is it? I'm pregnant. You're going to be a father. What, a father? Really? That's incredible. Your dad and Uncle Dale would be so proud of the man and firefighter you've become. You're carrying on their legacy. I know. I feel their presence every day, and now, with my own child on the way, I want to create a safer world for them. We're here for you, James. Your family is standing beside you. Uh, hello? Where have you been? It's been months! Uh, you don't return any of my calls or my texts. What's good, bozo? I've been laying low. Okay, I couldn't risk it. Well, your stupid stunt at Town Hall has caused a lot of drama, okay? So what? So what? The deal was you give me money and I keep my mouth shut. Now, where's my money? You'll get it when you get it. Not good enough. Either pay me now or stop burning buildings down. Uh oh, poor Finkleberry. Can't handle a little heat, huh? Well, too bad. I hate this town, so it's going down. And you're just a fat idiot, and I hate you too. <gasps> Rude! Oh, and I hate Taylor Swift too. That's it! I've had enough! You call me fat and stinky all you want, but you bring in T-Swifty, ho ho ho! You've crossed the line! You're going to jail for what you've done! Good luck with that fart, Barry! You can't catch me! I'm always one step ahead! Yeah, because you have big, gross, bloated feet! Stay out of my way, Finkleberry, if you know what's good for you! <laughs> oh, trust me, Bruce! You're gonna regret crushing Donald J. Finkleberry! We need to figure out Bruce's next move. We can't let him continue wreaking havoc in this town. If we can find out where he's going to strike next, maybe we can beat him to it. Well, I've been tracking his patterns, and we do have a couple options. There's a burger place in the center of town, the library, and where he might target the building down the street. I'm just not sure. Look, that's a lot of options. Is there nothing that we're sure of? I don't know. There's just so much going on. I wish we had some help. Hey, yeah, guys, uh, you're not gonna believe it, but I decided to come clean. It was me and Bruce. We planned it all. Wait, what are you talking about, Finkleberry? I'm confessing, okay? Gosh, uh, I've never done this before. It sucks being honest. I can't deal with it anymore. Wait, so you helped Bruce cause all of this? Yeah, I know. I'm a bad guy, but like, whatever. Listen, Bruce is gonna burn down the building down the street, okay? Can't let it happen anymore, all right? I'm over it! Looks like you were right, Tyler. Thank you for coming forward, Finkleberry. But you know we have to report you. You're going to jail, too. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, you are. What? No! I did the right thing for once! You can't do this to me! It's the law, man. Look, we appreciate your help, but you still need to face the consequences. Ugh, this sucks! I wonder why Bruce hates you so much. I hate you! Ha 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 ha! Excellent! Now time for my ultimate revenge! Ha 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 ha! It's over, Bruce! You're done for! Oh! Just shut up! You're done, man. <laughs> What's so funny? You think this dumb building was my only target? Oh, you're too late. Uh, oh, no. Wait, uh, uh, Ashley? James, the hospital's on fire. And I'm about to have a baby. Perverse, what have you done? Oh, time's running out, hero. I'll stay here and make sure this guy doesn't escape. Go, James. Hurry. Stay back, everyone! We're here to help! What's happening? I need to evacuate everyone! Oh, where are you going? Ah, uh, there's no time! Ashley! Ashley! <coughs> James! James, we're in here! I need to get you two out of here! It's not safe! James, I'm so scared! Look, you're going to be okay. Just trust me, Ashley. You did it! You saved me and your son! Where are you going? You can't go back in there! I have a job to do. To save lives.